G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab. And today I'm gonna to unbox something that I'm really excited about. I'm not just saying that. I've installed one of these already. Well, I should say, and my electrician has, and I kind of took the video. That's what you call installing these days. Um, it's a Sygen hybrid inverter. This is the 15 kilowatt three phase unit. They come in a wide range of sizes from five to 25 kilowatts in three phase. They also have single phase options as well. And they're all the same size. It's amazing. But let's get it out of this box. It's a little bit weathered, this box. It's been sitting in my, in my dock for quite a while because I'm waiting for one more magical component, which uh, I'll unbox when it arrives. But we'll start one at a time. This is kind of like Christmas. You start with the little parcels and then you move to the big exciting ones. Well, this is kind of the big exciting one as are all the other parcels. Now this is gonna be a little bit of a monster box. Uh, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I need a bigger disc, what do you reckon? So in the box is oh, some foam packaging. Now, if I do have one grumble, it's getting rid of foam packaging. But then again, it does protect the equipment. So here we are. I think I'm probably gonna take it straight out. One box. Two boxes. Three boxes. Right. We'll get to these last. The ancillary boxes. I'm more interested in showing you what's under the plastic. Okay, so we've got a list of uh, components. Uh, these are the, the ingredients in this box. Okay, that's all good to know. Let's get this plastic off. You know what? I'm just gonna clean up. It's a lot of dust. That feels better. There was a bit of cardboard uh, detritus on the bottom of the box from sitting out in my dock. So yeah, good to clean up. So here we are, um, Sygen Energy. Sygen Energy is the, the company name. Uh, this is the Sygen Hybrid Inverter. Now, there's always a bit of debate about how you say the name. Uh, they like to be called SIG Energy, S-I-G Energy, SIG Energy. Um, but the products are called Sygen Store, Sygen Hybrid, etc. So there you go. But SIG Energy is the company. Now this unit here is the 15 kilowatt three phase. Like I said at the beginning, it comes in ranges of, let's have a look, five, six, eight, 10, 12, 15, 17, 20, and 25 kilowatt units. That's the AC output power rating. And they're all physically the same. They're all the same dimensions and the same weight. So that's pretty amazing, 38 kilos. 38 kilos uh, for a 25 kilowatt inverter, those are the 15, but if it was it, the 25, it would still only be 38 kilos. Uh, that's pretty impressive. The, um, the unit itself has this socket on the bottom because it's basically battery ready. Uh, you'll see in other videos me adding a battery to this system. So it's a stackable hybrid inverter system. You can have just the solar inverter like this, and connect solar to it, 
or you can, or and at a later stage, you can add batteries. And the batteries just plug in to the socket on the bottom here. So you stack them up. If you allow a bit of room when you install one of these units, you can go up to, at the moment, 48 kilowatt hours in a single stack. That's pretty impressive. So on the front here, It's not very exciting uh, when it's not turned on, but this display here uh, has some icons telling you, uh, is it charging from solar? Uh, do you have AC power available? Uh, is there DC charging to an electric vehicle? Now that's something I'm very excited about, but I'm not in this boxing, I won't be showing you that. That's coming soon. And uh, uh, if it's in any fault mode, such as the grid's not available, etc and if the batteries are connected. So it gives you some basic icons on the screen here, but it also is programmable in terms of the ring, the outside ring. You can get it to do things like, I don't know, just a little bit of RGB, beautiful circulating colors, kind of feels like it's alive. You can get it to show uh, things like it's charging or discharging uh, by color and by movement. You know, it's a bit of fun. All user, user configurable with the app, uh, the SIG Energy app. Now let's look at the business end of this unit, around here. So these are all our connections, this is going to be a bit tricky for me. <laughs> so we've got um, battery port and two MPPTs. Um, in fact, um, the, the, the units can have up to uh, four MPPTs, depending on which size model you've got. And this one here has... Um, what am I sorry? This is three MPPTs. The 15 kilowatt unit has three MPPTs. We've got an integrated DC isolator. We've got um, Ethernet ports. Now, here's something I was kind of excited by. Um, the Ethernet ports can be both used for communication uh, with the gateway or with the cloud through uh, wired Ethernet. Now, it self configures. You don't have to choose the right one. Whichever port you put it in, it works it out. Kind of smart stuff. Uh, there's also a Wi-Fi dongle option as well here, and a 4G option too. So you've got all those things covered. So Wi-Fi, Ethernet, 4G uh, by dongle, all available. Uh, here we've got our, our connection points for our AC. Um, and, oh, it's a bit heavy. I've got to put it back on the table again. I mean, it is 38 kilos. <laughs> so let's... um. Let's run through some of the uh, features of this unit. So I've got the data sheet up here. The 15 kilowatt unit here can take up to, wait for it, 24 kilowatts of DC input power. Wow, <laughs> so a lot of overpowering capability. Now with three MPPTs on this unit, getting 24 kilowatts of solar, not a problem at all. The um, the maximum input rating of this is 1100 volts. So this can be used in CNI applications right now. Or, hot tip, I'm predicting that 5033 and 4777 part one will align this year, so we'll be able to go up to 1000 volts on domestic systems. This can go up to 1100 volts on the DC side. So that's pretty cool. The um, MPPT range is 160 to 1000 volts and uh, it's got a maximum input current of 16 amps and a maximum short circuit per MPPT of 20 amps. Now, something to be aware of, a little calculation moment here, is that you need to take the maximum short circuit current rating and of the module and multiply it by 1.25 and the input rating of the inverter needs to be um, equal to or less than that. The 1.25 times factor, which I've mentioned many times, but people forget, is about a safety margin on the short circuit current rating of a PV array. PV arrays, by the way, are, or panels, are rated at standard test conditions. That's 1,000 watts per square meter. But that's not an absolute. Uh, here in sunny Australia, on a good day, we'll get 1,100 watts. So the current is proportional to the irradiance. You get another 100 watts, you get another 10% um, current. So we've got a safety margin built into our standards. There's also a bit of thermal derating uh, of equipment, so that's where the whole 25% comes in. Now, if you take the reciprocal of 1.25 times, you, know, you get 0.8. So we'll start with the short circuit current rating of the inverter and find out what's the maximum panel, or I should say, 
PV input short circuit rating I can connect. So 20 times 0.8. So panels up to 16 amps of short circuit current rating are suitable for this module. Uh, that's basically all your residential modules. Um, I can't see a problem there at all. So that's really, really good to know. Okay, so that's a short circuit current rating. The AC output power is 1500 watts on this unit, but like I said, they go up to 25 kilowatts. Uh, the, sorry, I didn't say 1500 watts, 15 kilowatts, sorry, <laughs> on this unit up to 25 with the larger um, output versions. And uh, it's a three phase, so therefore nominal uh, 400 volt output. It's got a conversion efficiency, a maximum of, let me check which model I'm looking at here, 98.5. 3% uh, maximum efficiency and a euro rated efficiency of 97.9. So sure, you know, it's pretty much perfect. The unit um, number of modules per controller, you can actually put six battery modules on one of these. And like I said, at the moment, they're, they're eight kilowatt hours each. So six eighths is 48 kilowatt hours of storage can be added to this. So this is a battery ready hybrid inverter. You don't need the batteries yet. You can add them at a later stage. It's got uh, what they call smart cooling, basically fins. There's no moving parts. So uh, nothing really to uh, replace or wear out. That's kind of it. Now, you might be looking at this and going, it looks a little bit bland. Um, the unit really looks perfect once you put the batteries on. It makes into a lovely stack and there's some covers that clip on on top. Anyway, let's have a look what's in these other boxes here. I'm just going to move this to the side a little bit. And what do we got here? Now because this is quite a powerful inverter and at 15 kilowatts its uh, output power is rated at um, up to 25 amps. So what we've got here is a shroud, a big shroud that covers your cable, your four core and earth that comes in because there is, um, oh, I have to turn it around again, <laughs> there are lugs. And so basically you've got um, uh, screws and lugs that you would connect your cable on. So not, not a plug, proper lugs. That'll keep uh, some installers happy that are getting worried about high current just through a plug. And that's the shroud that covers it. Uh, and it is um, locking, it's got screws, sorry, so it can't be removed. Once the, the cover's put on and the screws are inserted, this is a uh, you know, authorized access to access this area. It also can have a cover over the end here. All right, let's see what's in this box. Okay, so here we've got uh, a comms connector. We've got a range of uh, plugs and sockets for the PV array. We've got an antenna, all right? So a little antenna here for the, the, um, the Wi-Fi. And what else have we got here? Uh, there's an RJ45 connector for connecting uh, your data cable, an Allen key, and a few screws. So, I call these the lolly bags. Kind of feels like it. All right, so we've got all that. And lastly, aha! <laughs> the important bit, the meter. So this is a... Uh, what do we got here? An Eastron meter. There we go. Take it. Oh, it's quite a nice one. There we go. With three CTs as well. All right. So, if you've got a a solar inverter and no metering, it will work, but you won't be able to do export control. So you need export control. You need. Um, some form of upstream measurement to measure the amount of export from the installation. So this would be installed at the main switchboard. But once you add batteries to this system, you need to know about how much self-consumption there is versus how much import 
um, from the grid. And therefore, once again, the meter is a critical component. Now this meter has got uh, three CTs. These uh, clip around the three actives at the main switchboard. Um, and it's got voltage sensing. So you've got your three phases uh, and neutral here for voltage sensing. It also has a comms link. Um, uh, on this side, there's comms link, which goes back to the inverter. So the inverter can read the, the meter's data. Now, I really quite like this approach where you have CTs as opposed to what's called a whole of current meter. Um, I mean, if you have got a high powered inverter, you're gonna have large cables and trying to run the whole house through a meter means you're gonna have to have great big terminals on your meter. So this is one way of keeping things relatively compact. So this is a pretty small three phase meter if you ask me. Uh, and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing how it works. Watch this space. Thanks for watching. Check it. Yeah.